Hey there. I had a great email the other day and it started with the line, I'm still hungry. And I smile to myself whenever I read emails like that because I think so much about how hungry I was in recovery and how weirded out, if that's an expression, how just peculiar that felt, just to know that I got by on eating so little for so long. And yet when I was starting to allow myself to eat, I just seemed as if I wanted to eat all the time. And that seemed alien. I was uncomfortable with that. Mentally, I felt weird about it. Physically, I was concerned about it. And then at the same time, I was questioning who I should listen to. Should I listen to what seemed to be my own internal hunger? Or should I listen to the fact that the food plan I'd been given by the eating disorders team seemed to be suggesting that I should actually be eating less? Well, my response to the person that sent the email was great. You know, you're acknowledging that you're still hungry. And secondly, what are you wasting time emailing me for? Because if you're still hungry, go bloody eat. Just go back to the kitchen. So there really should be no need to feel that you're ever eating too much. Yes, there are points in your recovery that sometimes you will feel that you're almost eating to a point where it does feel like um, uncomfortable. And I, I mean that in terms of mentally, psycho psychologically, but also physically, you know, you can certainly you'll have your days where your stomach feels like it's um, it's really hurting because it's it's a muscle like any other and it's getting used to returning to normal. But actually there is only one answer for hunger and that's just to keep satiating it because your body's just going, oh my God, this is what I've been waiting for for so long. So if there is a level of hunger and, and normalcy still to come around how much you should eat, when you should eat, then you just have to keep going with it and you have to know that your body's bloody clever and it's saying, oh my goodness, you're ramping the furnace up, you're wanting me to metabolize this stuff. You're wanting to me, me to be happier, joyful, do more with my life. And oh, all of a sudden I need to fuel that. And you will. And your body's coming out of that starvation period in which it's tried to slow, slow, slow everything down. And all of a sudden it's kind of speeding up again and saying, OK, the world's opening up. She's trying to fight her way out of anorexia and therefore I need to feed her. So to do that, it means everything about the way your body functions, metabolizes, it's all revving up, the fire is going again. So just keep eating, do not feel weird about it, do not feel odd, abnormal, because know that so many of us go through that in recovery. And yeah, we have the same questions, we have that same weirded out nature around kind of, is this more than other people? And and actually the other people aspect of that is really important. So I, if you're living in a household with siblings, friends, um, other family members, just know that now is not the time to question how much they've got on their plate compared with what you've got, because your body is the one telling you, you need to eat this amount for recovery. You need to maintain that momentum. So looking at what some, is in somebody else's cereal bowl or pasta dish just sure as hell ain't gonna help you right now. So yes, there's such a thing as extreme hunger in recovery. Extreme hunger is real, but go with it. You will need it and you will need to get the other side. Every time you refuse to listen, you'll go right back to square one and it will make recovery take that much longer. So go with it and let us know how you get on. Okay, have a good day.